Hey, honey. How are you liking your Moshe by C? Oh, I love it. I mean, it's pretty much perfect. Uh, I just wish it was a little smaller. Ah, that was easy. Somebody here asked for a Meshify C Mini. Oh, wow, you did something useful for once. Nice. Spell check it next time. Whoa! I have a request too! Seriously, Heather? What kind of request was that? You're gonna ruin it for everyone. The customer is always right. Ladies, ladies, there's no need to fight. Oh, oh. Let your voice be heard by visiting the Fractal Design contact page and making a product suggestion, within reason. While you're at it, you can also check out the new Meshify C Mini. Click on the link below to learn more. What's going on guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be putting together a very special and miniature sized gaming PC surrounding the new AMD Raven Ridge APUs. Meaning this system will not feature a discrete graphics card, rather we're gonna be using the integrated Vega graphics that come bundled into this Ryzen 5 2400G, which is of course a four core, eight thread CPU. Now since we're not putting a discrete graphics card into this system, we actually get to use a pretty tiny case. This is the Inwin Chopin. Uh, I'm guessing named that for the famous composer. Um, but uh, look at that it's, it's very nice actually it's, it's got some heft to it for its size that's because there's a, a built-in or an included 150 watt power supply which would be plenty for our needs very nice brushed aluminum finish on the top and front we have a mesh side panel and mesh on the top for uh, plenty of ventilation now one concern here that uh, Steve from Hardware Unboxed, who also did a build in this very case with a Raven Ridge APU recently ran into, was that there was very little clearance for a CPU cooler. So he ended up having to use a really slim, it was either a Cryorig, one of the Cryorig C7s, or one of the really tiny uh, Noctua fans, I can't remember which one, but it didn't really fit the bill. And uh, he was running into some pretty warm thermals and that probably led to suffered performance. Guys, you should check that video out also. If you haven't yet, I'll put a link in the description. So learning from Steve's experience, uh, what I'm gonna do today is attempt to mod this case by actually dremeling out uh, a section of the mesh panel here so that we can fit in in the included Wraith Spire cooler that comes with our 2400G. Fantastic CPU, it is the hottest APU on the market right now in terms of performance. And we're gonna be pairing that with an AB350N gaming Wi-Fi motherboard from Gigabyte. Additionally, we'll have 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaws 5 DDR4 3200 to go along with it. And finally, a 512 gigabyte 960 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD from good old Samsung. So that's what we're working with today, guys. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and start off the dremeling part. I wanna get the, the hard modding stuff out of the way first. It should be really embarrassing for me and fun for you guys to laugh at me. So uh, let's do that and then we'll carry on with the rest of the build. Here it is, there's my Dremel work. This is the first time again that I've really used a Dremel extensively, so obviously it's not my finest work, but it's 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 kind of a circle, right? Let's just hope it fits. Now the, the circle that I cut had to be quite a bit larger than the cooler, the fan itself, just because of how this side panel fits on. You actually have to start from the left first and then slide it over to the right. But hey, 
Would you look at that? Not too shabby. The motherboard's not actually mounted to the case yet, so it might be look a little sloppy, but I think we're, we're good to move on here. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and finish off what's left of this build before closing things out. <laughs> 